Hi folks, it's twenty uh, second of November, I think. Yeah, it's a sort of cold, yeah, sort of cold November day here in West Donegal, and uh, so to pass the time, I'm finally getting around to doing something I should have done for a long while, which is to replace the um, ropes, as I call them, on the uh, on the door of my. Um, insert stove so it's a baru stove uh i'm just gonna i'll just turn it over here and i'll show you so what we're gonna try and do is so i'm just interested in seeing how this will work out as a video what i'm going to do is probably hopefully pause along the way as i do certain little bits and things so essentially this is a kit that i've got i've got it in from uh just bought it online from baru stoves so you can see see it there yeah so it's a high temperature glass fiber stove rope, 16 mil by 2.5 mil, that's it. And in fact, actually, I have one ready to go here. So this was one that I took out of an unused door that was there before. So you can see it's 16 mil of this sort of rope. You'll see here there's a bit of glue on this. So it's essentially a job of gluing this in. And this thing came uh, from Baru Stoves in Tipperary. Very pleased with this stove, by the way. But there's the glue that I'm going to use. I hope it's flexible and all the rest that I need. I haven't literally done anything with this yet. Oh yeah. It's all to be seen as the fellow says. Just pause a moment. So just to say, I opened this glue up, took the top off it. Bit of a job hooking it off with the snips there. Uh, giving it a shake it's been lying around for a couple of months it's only a couple of months but just wonder how that'll work out anyway the first thing we have to do is we have to get out the old uh, the old rope so i've started here just using a stanley and i'm starting it to cut it out there this is going to be a bit of a job so it comes out sometimes cleanly sometimes i just have to assist it here with the stanley knife as it comes out and again, I'll just pause again and continue this. So again, you can see as this is coming out, some of it comes out more cleanly than others. Yeah, so just get that first section of it out. And then I'll use my Stanley to try and tidy up the, whoops. There's so many unknowns here, including the frailty of my stand and the fact that I haven't had a remote control working properly on it, but you can see how it's going to affect the clear out like this. So I'll put a clean it out like this, then I'll get a screwdriver to just clean out the channel. We'll come back in a moment. So again, you can see the exercises between using my Stanley, just a flathead screwdriver to chisel this out. I'll continue doing this until my the channels are nice and clean. No point in rushing this. Now I think this is probably the third rope that's been in it since uh, I've had this for the last three or four years. The important thing about uh, replacing the rope is obviously this door is compressed in, so you're trying to stop air leaks and drafts. So it's important that the the rope itself is replaced. I, I, I noticed last uh, winter that there was quite a lot of uh, drafts coming in at the time. And I could also tell as I tightened the door that it wasn't it wasn't really uh, that tight. So I knew I needed to replace this. And uh, as usual, left everything to the last minute. I think the weather's going to be getting particularly cold in the next while, so I better get ahead of it. I have to say, it's a small, a small firebox on this. Uh, little baru so it doesn't take an awful lot of blocks of wood etc but i think it's about a four kilowatt fire i think so but i've been really really pleased with it and uh you know i know we live in times of the end of carbon and all the rest but we have a lot of firewood which we have in here for quite a period of time so it's very comforting when you have it on so look at i'll continue with this and hopefully clean up this mess just pause there Okay, so it's a, uh, as you can see, creates a bit of a mess. Just 
collecting all these bits and pieces of stuff. Get it all the way tidy up and then I'll have to clean it up a little bit more. So I just back here with this stuff. So I'll give the glass and all that a bit of a rub down while I'm at it. Um, okay. So it's just got to go back in and do a further tidy up and all this. And then give the glass a bit of a rub. And then put the ro new rope back in. Right, as I've been cleaning that out, then I just sort... Oh, look at one of I use a wire brush on this uh, to clean out the channels. Let's see. So this is doing a really good piece of work so just taking my time to get all the residue of the adhesive that's in there get it out it's not as if i'm going to be doing this very regularly and what else would you be doing in covid time anyway it's awful hard to get around to doing that but when you're at it the fella says it's great now right now it's been a struggle for me between doing this and Going in and unboxing my new Mac Mini M1, which as you see will be a cleaner looking job than that. But I have a better clue how to do this than I do to do that. So I'll do the easy bit first. So now while I'm at this, uh, I decided I might as well put a bit of WD-40 on any of these uh, nuts. That are, these nuts hold in the... Um, the, uh, the glass at the front of it and also this nut that's on the door so just I'm gonna just loosen them up just in the event that I had to replace this glass before so I'll just just for the sake of the future and just loosen them and tighten them up again this is a, a 10 mil spanner I have here I'll tighten them up again in a moment this is probably uh, 13 is it? So the one for the door is probably a 13 or something. Yeah. Mm. I just have to ease that up there. Actually it's probably a 12. So I'll just ease them up. Put a bit of uh, WD-40 does no harm. Pause that again. So just to say something I learned from the last time I did this, how easy it is to break this glass. So you've got a little 10 millimeter um, nut there. And I just decided to put in some of that old bit of rope, the old stuff I took out. So when I screw it, screw it down by hand, oh, it's probably a bit hard for you to see that. I screw that down by hand, so it's a 10 mil piece. I just have to be careful that I don't just leave it sort of half springy. You know, the last time I did this, I just went that bit too far. And uh, so as long as they're straight, they'll be all right. Okay. So now we've got, uh, I'll just give this a bit of a last clean up and then we start putting in the rope. So while I'm at it, I decided to, I might as well clean up the, the um, what do you call it, the glass while I'm at it. So I just some sprayed some WD-40 on it and uh, let it settle in. I'm just using a paint scraper then just to not scratch in the glass. So you know, this glass self cleans when it's been, you know, so, you know, while you might concern yourself that it might get all fogged up, etc. Because of the way the design of the, the um, particular uh, so the flames are often redirected against the glass so it clears it up oh, geez, the glass is cleared up quite well there very pleased with that oh, that's an unexpected bonus i just set out to change your rope look at me now i'll be making this clean as it's new so 
okay so i've managed to clean this cleaned it last and so now i'm just taking my uh i'm taking my glue and uh so i'm just going to feed the glue into the channel just put that along i don't have any particular method of application just make sure i put plenty along i have to try and ensure that i get along the sides but Remember, this is going to work mostly under compression, I think. So the most important thing is that the adhesive is simply just to hold the rope in there. Um, it's really the back of the adhesive or the back of the rope is covered in it in uh, is in adhesive, and then you know the seal is going to the seal for the air is going to be based on compression. And there's probably no no benefit in me having any of the this file of. Um, adhesive left over either because can't imagine once it's open it's going to last at least as long as the my next application of this so as long as you have enough to go around just working on a gravity feed there so i think that's kind of okay obviously i can't ex i can't claim to be in any way an expert in any of this stuff this is only my second time ever doing this, but it sort of seems more explanatory than how to commission a a Mac Mini and all the level of software and all the rest, which is what my next experiment will be. Anyway, hopefully we'll get this sorted out. So I'm going to finish off this and then I'll come back and I'll slip the rope in. Okay, so I've just finished uh, putting the adhesive around everywhere. I've been uh, very flat hole, as they say. I scale got a bit generous with whatever I put in here. So, sure, the great thing is, it's not a wonderful way of passing an afternoon. So I've got this. Now, you'll see the way the, the uh, adhesive hardens against the rope now this is the second use of from a door that was never used before so uh we'll join them they're going to be joined at one end so i'll just take it into that center there and just gently feed it in as i go along um typically the rope i got would be a little bit longer than the necessary shape so you just form it uh into the shape that you want and then cut it to the appropriate length I'm working on the base that this came out of a similar door, so I expect it to be similarly sized. I just have to make sure that you can see I'm just gently moving it around and come back down when I'm finished. So I can see one of the things that I need to be doing is stretching it along the way as I go because I'm going to be a bit shy at the end. Anyway, I just need to give it a bit of persuasion, help it along, just to make sure that when I get to the end that there's enough to get around the last corner, and just tidy it up there at the top. Now I know I haven't done any uh, close-ups with this camera. It's the difficulty of trying to do a number of things at the same time. So my interest in this is how to create what I call a reusable learning object. If you've never done this before, as I say, I'm not an expert per se, but just imagine if we had the uh, benefit of someone who does this and who knows all the tricks of the trade, being able to do what they do. It's a bit like uh, saying they're feeling down the dough in a cake or the pie or something when you're putting it down, you know, when you're making a blackberry tart or something and uh, you rub your hands along the side of a bit of water to seal it off. That's what it appears like, anyway. So, essentially that's what that's going to be like. Uh, the instruction for whatever it was that came with it was that said that it would take two hours or so for this uh, um, glue to set or settle etc so I'm not in a particular hurry and just maybe I'll take it indoors and just leave it it's not it's not too hot out here obviously in the workshop but might be a bit more generalized heat and drying inside and hopefully you know 
look at we can learn from our mistakes but uh, so I did have uh, a top for this guy here but I can't expect him to be of much benefit so essentially that's what it's going to look like when it's finished I'm not overly concerned with pushing it in too far because as a once I seal the door the, the door will compress onto it you can see the glass nice and clean ready to go in again and it'll get us through another period of time I have to say it makes a huge difference when you have the seals on right um you see dirty hands now i'll have to wash them and uh, go in and play with my uh, high-tech toys so i hope you've enjoyed this yeah um, sure it didn't cost me anything to do to make the video and uh maybe somebody has some other ideas etc suggestions if you have put them in the comments subscribe let us a new order and learn of that subscribe to these videos and uh Survive COVID, that's the best we can do. Okay, folks.